In this video, we're going to turn this old Model 37 Winchester 12 gauge into an interchangeable choke gun. We've started going to turkey shoots, but this particular turkey shoot, they allow a choke down to 673 thousandths. So this one is a stepped choke, and it steps down to 673 thousandths. I, I made this choke out of 17-4 stainless steel, but I don't have any more of that laying around, so this one we're going to make out of 303 stainless. Now before I cut on this particular gun, I had a test barrel here that I played with, and I actually found a pair, of motor, uh, a pair of motorcycle handlebars that I cut up and I'm, I made four attempts to make chokes fit in this one. So when I got the results I was looking for, then I cut on the real thing. Now if your shotgun has a lug on the barrel where you can't fit it back through the lathe, then you may need something that can ride on your steady rest like this. So you actually mount your barrel in here, screw it down on there, get it all nice and perfectly true, and then that rides in your steady rest on your lathe. But luckily on this gun, that wasn't required, it could just stick right through the headstock, go to work. Here's the schematic I drew up. So this is actually a Ruger style choke, and the reason why I did it as a Ruger style choke is because all I had was a Ruger gun at the time, and I didn't know what I was doing. Actually, I had no clue what I was doing, and that's why I chose to make this choke fit in the Ruger gun. I have a Ruger over and under red label shotgun. I'll post this on my website so that you can go and download it later. within a half thousandths. Okay, first thing we gotta do is get this thing down to 900 thousandths. So we'll face the end, clean that up, and then come back two and three quarter inches. thousands to polish off of there. Let's see if we can put the knurling on now. If anybody knows the secret to knurling, as far as what how to uh, what diameter to turn your work versus the diameter of your knurling wheels, I sure would appreciate a little knowledge on that. So it's not a pretty knurl, but it will get the job done. So they're decent, but they're crossed. It will get the job done. Okay, it's time to drill. All right, so my goal is uh, 675. So I'm gonna start with a 5 8 drill, which is 625. So that'll leave me 50,000 to bore out. Let's get started with our 5 8 Slow it down just a little bit here. 
I'm gonna eat that drill bit up because it's a cheap drill bit. <laughs> My gold's about two and a half inches deep. I could go much further because my steps will be coming from the other side. Was the ID on the entry side of the choke, meaning what's closest to the uh, breech of the gun, will be 735. So I'll be I'll be cutting three different steps from 735 down to 675. The steps are supposed to grab the wadding, kind of pull the wadding out of the way so that the shot can leave the barrel unhindered. This is a long process making a shotgun choke. The reason why this sticks out the end of the barrel so far, well actually it's two, two and a three quarter inches, is because on that old uh, Winchester Model 37, my grandfather had flared the barrel in to increase the choke for turkey shoots and ended up damaging the actual barrel. So we had to cut a couple inches off of it. And our goal is a 36 inch barrel, I believe it was 36 inch, is the maximum allowed in this particular turkey shoot. I made a few chokes for my Ruger Red Label last year and we won about four times. So we literally brought home the bacon. Get a little brush, that's getting hot. If you guys are interested in learning the ins and outs of machining, I'd encourage you to go over and visit ABOM79. Basically everything I'm doing here, I learned from him. I've watched hundreds and hundreds of hours of his videos, and they're good. I started with a little South Bend nine inch lathe I sold not too long ago and then purchased this guy. You could do a lot with a little South Bend nine, but I tell you, this thing here is nice. This is the Precision Matthews PM1236T. They say this thing is good to the ten thousandth of an inch. And like I said, I'm no machinist. I've been able to make some pretty good looking stuff with it. Especially with my skill set, not really knowing what I'm doing. This is the one that's made in Taiwan. The supposedly higher quality one. Uh, just the PM1236, I believe, is made in China. But I called up Precision Matthews and we chatted and he advised me that this is the lathe that I needed. Now, if you step up to the 13, I think it's the 1348T. Now that was an actual industrial use machine. You can run that thing all day long. This one, he said, is designed more for use it a few times a week, which is about what I do. I mean, with a full-time job, I don't have time to sit out here all the time and play with my lathe, although I would like to. Like I said, this is a long process. Uh, that last choke took me about four hours, I think, to make. Let's measure and see how deep our hole is. Okay, we're sitting at 246. We could stop there, but I'm gonna run it on in a little further. This whole thing's gonna be five inches long and it's got to be drilled to this to begin with. We'll actually open it up a little more on the other side. chips don't have anywhere to go at this point. I'm basically making about a round with the wheel here on my tailstock and the chips have pretty much filled up the flutes there where they cut them. Not quite making a round now. I'm just going by feel. It starts feeling tight and I stop. It's about a half a round at this point. Okay, I think we're going to stop there. What I really wish I had was a reamer that was 673 or 675. But I don't have one of those. Since I don't have a reamer, we'll just have to bore it. Twenty-five plus 18, 635, I'm terrible at math, 643, so we're going to 675, so we got over 100,000 to go. Is that right? No, we are going to 
675. So if we're at 643, I better get my calculator. The hardest part about machining is math. Well, let me look at my paper here. The ID, we're shooting for 673, but we really want 675. Our first goal is 673. So let's measure that one more time. Okay, 625 plus 18. We're at 643. We're going to 673. We've got 30 thousandths to go. Since this guy flex is so bad because he's so small, we're just going to take it in about five or six thousand increments. This should have been our last pass. Let's get a measurement. Here. We were going for 673. Let's see, 675 minus two. There I'd say we're 673. We're actually probably a couple tenths under. So what I want to do is just make a spring pass. We're shooting between 673 and 675. So if I make a spring pass here, hopefully we'll be right where we need to be. Let's get that done. There we go, 673 and 4 tenths. I say that's close enough. Now we'll flip it around and work on the other end. Okay, we've got her flipped around. We'll start on the other side. First, we're going to start by getting our hole drilled. We're going to drill five eighths all the way through. I need to speed this up a little bit for this little 